Hello, beautiful people. So today we're gonna dye my hair. Y'all, <laughs> um, just wanted to briefly go through my hair journey and just show you realistically how my hair looks, why I'm dyeing it, and my color journey. I'm not gonna go through my whole color journey, that's for another video. Um, but as of recently, I've been ginger. Let me show y'all everything. So I've been ginger. Um, my hair has grown significantly since being ginger. Um, Cause I was ginger from the root or, you know, orange or light brown or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I just wanted to say, well, that was in October. So October um, is when I turned ginger from being red, which was in September, right? So I had to bleach my hair. I had to lift the color, blah, blah, blah. So we had a little bleaching accident. When when it comes to bleach, you just have to be careful. And if you're not, it is what it is. Like, if you make a bleaching mistake, it's human. And you just put color over it. Unless you know how to fix it. But my, in my case, you know, I just let it go. So here's what I want to fix. Um, and I've tried to fix it so many times, but I know I'm going to fix it this time. So anyway, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so excuse me <laughs> when it comes to my hair especially. Um, so you see how my hair is like dark at the roots. This is my natural hair color. So right here, it is blonde. Um, well, it's, it's, it's just lighter, right? It was blonde when I first dyed it, okay? And that wasn't the goal. It, the goal, even though blonde was fine, I didn't want it to be lighter at the roots than at the ends of my hair. And that's the problem that I created, okay? So, especially in the back, like, my color is fading from using colors like cinnamon, French cognac, stuff like that. Another one called um, Spice or something like that. That one was a little reddish. Well, I used a little bit of red the last time I dyed my hair, but I pretty much been ginger. So I'm tr I'm going to fix where my hair is lighter at the the middle of my head and dark at the ends. Um, I really really want to fix this. So I'm going to do that um, and I'm going to go back to red. Woo -woo -woo -woo. This is my fall color. Okay, it was cute. I had it for my birthday in November. It was cute straight. It was cute curly. It was cute with a ponytail. It was just real cute. But now it's time to go back to red. Okay, I miss my red. I miss my red. I miss my red. Red is my, my staple color. So we're going to go back. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And when it comes to dyeing and bleaching and doing all types of stuff to your hair, just be careful. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, get a hairstylist. I am fine with messing up my own hair. I just, I'm just gonna like either fix it one day or just leave it. Like it's not that deep to me. But um, yeah, so when it comes to bleach, you just wanna be super careful. Cause what I did was, I left the bleach on too long in the back, okay? But the times that I tried to fix this hair color, um, I didn't leave the ends bleached long enough, okay? So when I would rinse it out, and I didn't want to bleach it again because obviously that would just be more damage. So we're going to get it right this time. I'm going to leave it on. It's okay for me if my ends are lighter than the middle. I just need a balance. You know what I'm saying? Um, an ombre is even fine, but I really don't like, I don't know if you guys can see this. My, I just combed my hair out. So my hair is just, um, in its natural combed out state. But so yeah, it's like blonde right here. And then the ends are like more brown. I don't like that. And I know it's because of the way that my hair was bleached when I went ginger. So a lot of um, box colorings, if you're gonna do box coloring, even if you're not, 
you can just get a little package kit, right? This is the same thing. It does the same thing. It's not the same thing, but it does the same thing. This is the splat. It came in my splat um, coloring box. This is the splat oxid oxide. Okay, and you mix this with the lightning bleach colorant. Okay, so I'm probably just gonna use this one instead. I'm gonna use this one instead. Um, I just need it a little bit lighter than my than the middle part. I just need to lighten it a little bit. If it goes to blonde, that's cool. Um, but I just don't want an e uneven tones. My roots are fine. I'm not gonna bleach my roots. Um, but I just wanna even out this brown part. You feel me? I think you feel me. I've been saying it over and over again. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to now, first I'm going to read the directions. Okay, it just says dump it in there. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to dump this powder. Now, be careful every time, <coughs> see I'm sneezing now. If this is your first time doing bleach, turn on your fan in the bathroom, okay? It's very, um, the chemicals can get in your sinuses and it can really have you sneezing and it can be on your throat. It's really aggravating. So just uh, make sure you have ventilation and your door is open. Because girl, it stank. It stank. Any type of bleach or lifter or whatever, it stinks. Um... So yeah, now I'm going to take this bottle and I am going I am going to show you like that. I'm just gonna pour it in this bowl and I'll be back. Okay, so now that I've shaken this up, here's what it looks like. You take the tip off, get on there. But um you just wanna watch it. My rule of thumb personally, I'm gonna section off my hair into parts. But my rule of thumb, now that I've learned, is um, when it looks light, it's actually darker than you think. Because um, your hair is wet, right? But when you have, you know, white bleach, you know, on your head, it's kind of hard. <laughs> to tell if your hair is a different color or not. Um, you just have to use that as your judgment. Like, what did your hair look like before? And what does it look like now? So, um, I'm going to start off in these sections. I'm gonna move very quickly because I don't want my hair to be uneven. Um, it's not going to be perfect. Obviously, my hair has never been, like, super even, but I'm going to try my best. Um, so if you guys see what I mean, like, ooh, you see what I mean when I part it. Okay, so this part is lighter than this part. We're going to bleach this part and, like, kind of ombre it up. So that's the goal. Woo, them chemicals was killing me. Um, but I like this bleach because it's no white tint. Therefore, I can see when the color is changing, right? So, so far, started back here. Um, it's doing a little something. Um, but I'm just going to let it get a little light, just like that right there. And I did get some on the middle part. It's cool. As long as um as long as these ends are darker, to, like lighter. I just don't want them to be 
I don't want them to be um I don't want them to be darker than my middle which is why I should have just kept it concentrated on the ends uh so it won't be still uneven but it's okay um I'm just gonna dye my hair red anyway so I'm just gonna show y'all I'm gonna leave it on for however long I need to I'm just gonna watch it um it is now 6.56 I literally just took 15 if that minutes to put um the bleach on so I'm gonna use I always use a door I'm gonna use ruby red and wild cherry because those are the two colors that I have um I like switching up red colors um but this is what I'm gonna use today so if need be I'll just put like wild cherry like you know the in the middle and the roots and then I'll put ruby red which is lighter on my ends okay so I'm back um the bleach sat in for about 35 to 40 minutes do not do that with this type of bleach okay like I said I use the bleach that I had from my splat hair dye container um you don't want to let actual um the like cream peroxide developer and the powder it depends obviously on on what uh, number you use i don't think you should use 30 developer for that long unless you're trying to go really blind um but this was a little slow to process so i left it in obviously i still have that little light light blonde in the middle and brown at the end issue but it's really a lot better than it was so i'm not complaining so, um, I tie dried, I'm going to tie dry a little bit more, um, with a door, you can wash your hair, you don't have to wash your hair, I do either or, I really don't care because it comes out good either way, but I prefer not to do it on super wet hair, okay, so I'm actually going to let my hair dry for a little bit longer, um, but I just wanted to talk about what I think when it comes to um tips and tricks for your hair color now everybody knows red is the easiest to bleed and the fastest to fade okay <laughs> it just is um you have to like keep up with it and stuff like that and that's why i didn't like red I, that's why i switched from my red hair but um one mistake I made the last time I did right here and I never done it before and I know why I never done it before but I was running out of dye so I used another dye I think it was a permanent dye or something like that no when I did that my hair was like bleeding on everything for months you know how you first dye your hair semi-permanent and it can like bleed for you know the first week or two, no girl. My hair was bleeding all the time on everything and I just messed up with that. So just use one type of dye. I'm just saying that from experience. I know, shouldn't have done that. Anyway, um, what helps me with bleeding is sitting under a hooded dryer. Now, I have seen people, um, cause you do like wanna put a plastic bag over your head. I have seen people like put a plastic bag over their head and then put a blow dryer like um, in a hole in in the bag. That's perfect too. That'll work. Um, just try to do something like that so it can seal the color, you know? Um, because red can just it can just it can just get everywhere. So anyway. Especially when I'm doing my hair, like when you, you know when you do your natural hair and you're trying to do like a twist out or something like that. I will have red fingernails. I have red fingernails now, but like I will have red fingernails. Definitely don't do your hair, your red freshly dyed hair with the French set. Your shit is done. It's done. It's done with. Have gloves on. Um, that's my opinion if this is your first time, but if you already have red hair, you already know um but yeah i love semi-permanent i love semi-permanent because it's not 
permanent. And I can switch the hair color if I want to and just lift it. I just prefer this way. Um, but yeah, so that's enough blabbering. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. Yes, my hair is very dry, but it's not that dry. It's not that bad. I'm going to moisturize it and deep condition it. But as of right now, it's the color is looking good. The color is looking good. It's looking golden. I actually love this color. I actually will wear this color to be honest. But you see how I kind of like bleached some of my roots too, which is fine. Um, I like the little ombre look, but my roots are growing out a lot. So anyway, let's get to the hair dye. Okay, so I'm back again. My hair is super dry and oh, it's not, it's not that damaged, but you know, when you bleach your hair, it's definitely going to need some love and care and attention. So we're going to disregard how it looks right now. And we're going to part my hair. Um, I like to do it in sections. Okay, y'all. So I'm a little perfectionist still. It is kind of doing the same thing, but it's definitely not as bad as it was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take um, this brush. I'm gonna take this brush and add my darker red wild cherry. And then I'm going to take my lighter red, ruby red, and just put that on the ends I don't know that's just my that's just my logic and that's just my technique so that's what I'm going to be doing I don't even have my towel I don't know what I did with my little hair dye towel but we just gonna hope and pray that I can get this dye off of my neck and everywhere else but yes so like so I'm putting this dye right here. It's gonna be so bright because I dyed my hair. See that? And I am going to I like to finger detangle when I do my dye. So I am going to do that, but it's going to be concentrated more on my roots, okay? And y'all, I got thick hair and it's very tangled. So I, I'm going to have to finger the tangle each part, but for the most part, This is how, this is how Wild Cherry looks. And then I'm just taking a little bit of Ruby Red for the ends. I hope that works the way I imagine it too. I know it will, but um, either way it's gonna be really pretty. I like when I do my reds, I really like um, different tones in my red. So that's why I pre bleach your hair and it's not like the same color all over. Just know that the red is going to be really, really pretty. Here we go. I'm about to be red again, Sade. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to play my music and have y'all watch me do the rest.
Y'all, I literally have a skin protector I could have and should have used. This is what I usually use. Um, it protects my skin from the dye. Uh, it's hair and scalp protective cream, Chi. But y'all, I didn't use it. It's really for if you have a relaxer. But anyway, I didn't use it. It's fine. Um, I'll just get it off. Usually I use oil or alcohol or both. Usually both. Anyway, I love how it looks so far. Remember when you dye your hair, it looks darker as the color is on and it's going to look lighter as you rinse it out. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glove back on. Um, and... I'm going to put my hair in this plastic bag. Okay. And I usually give myself a little room like that. And I tie it up. Any plastic bag will do. If you black, I know you got a collection of grocery bags. If you don't, you need to get some. Um, I use these for my hair, especially when deep conditioning. It's really good for that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean up my bathroom now and my skin. But I'm going to sit under the dryer for at least 30 minutes. Um... 45 minutes is cool too if you got that time. It really doesn't matter how long how how long it is. I feel like the longer I've ever sat under a dryer, the better because um, when it comes to dyeing my hair, because it won't bleed as much, or at least that's the experience that I've had using this dye. Um, but yeah, the rules are um, well the directions. I got dye everywhere, y'all. So, so crazy. Anyway, um, I'm going to read the directions to you real quick. It does say to process with heat for up to 15 minutes, okay? Um, I use, I do 30 and up because I have really thick hair and I just want to make sure it's all good. Like I said, it's better to... If you don't have a dryer, that's fine. But like I said earlier, try this and putting a blow dryer either around your head or something um, because that's going to lock in your color. So anyway, also, they I think they have like cheap little... Um, like real cheap, like not an old school dryer like I have, but like a, um, they're dryers that are soft at Walmart. I think if not Walmart, it's Target maybe. Um, I know you can find one of those. I'm telling you, it's, it's really going to lock in your hair better than just leaving it and then rinsing it. Now, if you're not going to do the dryer method... I advise you to leave it on pretty long. Um, it's just semi-permanent, so it's not gonna damage your hair. What is gonna damage your hair is box dye. I'm moving around so much. <laughs> what is gonna damage your hair is box dye, permanent dye, and bleach. Okay, I did bleach my hair, um, but the dye is just clinging. The semi-permanent dye is just clinging to what I bleached okay so I'm just gonna stand in the dryer and I'll be back hello and we back the next day <laughs> so I know I look crazy but um my hair what I did was I let my hair sit in um conditioner overnight right because my hair is super dry because i bleached it okay when you bleach your hair you just have to take super good care of it 
Um, so now what I'm doing, I started off doing some twists. I'm going to sit under the dryer, but I love the color. It's very, um, bright. It's giving fire hot mommy, period. I love it. So as you can see, it's bleeding a little bit on my hands, but not nearly as much as it used to. Okay. So I'm just showing you how I do my twist outs. I'm going to make a part. I like a side twist out. But really, I wish I would have done a, just another um, deep condition. I can't even talk, y'all. Deep condition treatment. Okay. I really like this one. I recommend this one. Um, after you bleach your hair, this is what I should have used. It's called the Keratin Two Minute Reconstructor. It's perfect for chemical damage. Um, also, this one is pretty good too. Uh, they're both Afoji. Um, this is the Afoji Balancing Moisturizer. I just use some regular conditioner, but really those are the best ones. So when I wash my hair again, those are the ones I'm gonna use. Um, but I just want to show you a small clip of how I do my twist. Um, it's all up to you on how you like your twist, but this is kind of how I do mine. So, I'm using like three different products. What kind of four? <laughs> Um, because I'm using mousse, I find that when I use mousse, um, my hair actually loves mousse and my hair actually, um, ends up, my hair actually moves better, you know, there's more movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half. Um, when it comes to my edges, I always like. When it comes to this edge part in the top, sometimes I'll twist it back so my edges can be good. Um, it really just depends, but today I'm going to twist it back. So let me show you how I do that. First, I'm gonna use this product. Um, I think I got this from Walmart. It's called the Works Buttercream, right? So I'm going to use a little bit of that. I'm going to brush it. Um, I got this brush from... I think from Walmart. I don't know what it's called, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's the Annie brush. It's one of those. Oh, it's the Kiss brush. No, I actually got it from a beauty supply in Philly. So, sorry about the Walmart thing. It's not from Walmart. It's from Philly in the beauty supply. So, yeah, what I'm going to do on this side is um, I'm going to make sure it's super moisturized. So, I'm also going to use the Earth Supply Curl Pop and Activator. I really like this one. I think that is from Walmart. Just a little bit. Okay. So, then... I'm going to use some mousse. This is just regular old school BB mousse, BB foam. Um, you can use anyone, really. Uh, curl mousse is awesome to use when it comes to your natural hair. Um, I love gel because it keeps my curls lasting a long time, but mousse makes it less crunchy, I've seen for myself. So as far as my edges, I'm going to use a little bit of this Auntie Jackie's Ice Curls Curling Gel, okay? 
and I'm going to slick my edges a bit so that it won't be as frizzy because one thing I have to say when it comes to um, my twist outs, my edges can be a little frizzy because I don't pay extra care to them sometimes while well, I used to not. Now I try to make sure that I focus on that. Obviously, I'm going to do my edges um, after, but I feel like this gives like a really good seamless style. So I'm just twisting it to my scalp. Y'all, I'm not the best braider. I'm not the best twister, but I literally just pick it up and um, twist. I literally just pick it up and twist and I'm going to brush my edges to make sure that everything's good. I literally just pick it up and twist. And I'm going to twist all the way to the end. <clears throat> I'm feeling like I need a little mousse for the end. Um, if you want to use gel, that's fine too. But like I said, for me, I feel like the mousse gives more movement and actually more length. Um, because gel does produce shrinkage, which I don't mind shrinkage. Sometimes I won't even pick out my hair and just let the shrinkage do its thing. Um, but for this, I'd rather um, to see my length. Okay, so I'm just making a part. I'm going to make three side twists. Okay. I'm just doing the same thing that I just told you um, on each part. And my hair has gotten so long, y'all. Um, my hair had got really short. And I think it was because I had bleached it. Which, y'all, y'all have to be careful when it comes to bleach. Even me, like, I was scared that my hair had gotten shorter just now with doing it. But I don't think it did. Um... But you just have to be careful with it because it will damage your hair. And even though I see my curls are here, it definitely did something to my curls. But as long as you keep taking care of your hair, they'll come back. And I'm just going to curl the end like so. And y'all, I don't really even, like you can't even see the part. I don't do clean parts really. I literally just care about the end result. So as long as it's twisted a bit, that's fine with me. I'm not a pro when it comes to braiding or twisting to scalp. Um, it doesn't have to be clean for me when it comes to my twist outs. This is going to be taken out. So yeah, when it comes to the top, I'm just doing the same thing, but I'm gonna focus more on the frizz aspect up here. You see where there's frizz? And honestly, I don't mind frizz. When you have curly hair and we have natural black hair, it's just inevitable, you know? But where we can reduce it is great. Okay, I'm back. This video is taking so long for me because I had to wait for the my hair to dry. You can't do your twist out prematurely, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I had to wait for it to dry. 
in the dryer in the hooded dryer because usually if I do a twist out I'll let it dry for overnight or during the whole day um but I only I did it like a couple hours ago and I didn't want to wait till tomorrow so we're gonna be taking it out and I didn't even have my hair oil, so I'm using this rose oil, which is going to work just fine. No big deal. And usually I would let my hair um, do its thing and leave it until the next day, but I'm doing content tonight, so... Um, I'm a night out. I do my content at night. I know I need to do some stuff during the day, but this is what I'm doing. So yeah, um, just starting off putting oil on my twist. Um, that just ensures that there's less frizz. So I'm just going to unravel. That's my favorite way to unravel right there. And they still feel a little damp, y'all. If y'all have natural hair, y'all know what I mean. Like, it's just like, hair's never fully dry sometimes. That's why it's best to leave it at, like, overnight. Um, but my hooded dryer is pretty good. You want to delicately do this so you can separate it later okay guys just want to show you what day two looks like a day two here i love it so i took the twist out last night and did a couple photos um so i haven't really been outside with it or done much with it um how i did it was how i slept with it I separated my hair into four parts with some ponytail holders and fluffed it out. And it looked good. It looked good. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you check the description box for everything that I offer. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Many more is coming. If you guys want more hair tutorials, I'm happy to offer that for you. But yeah, I'm glad that you watched to the end if you did. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.